Shall we? I think we're live. Hey, welcome. This is Live at Epifan. You're right, we are live. Uh, I'm George. And I'm Dan. And this is the show all about live streaming, all things video production. And today we've got another great show for you. What are we going to talk about today, Dan? Well, today, actually, we've got a great topic. There's a new live streaming platform out there I'm sure some of you have heard of, Vimeo Live. So we're actually going to take a headfirst dive into the Vimeo Live platform, maybe uh, talk a little bit about why someone might choose Vimeo Live yeah. instead of other <laughs> options, and then actually do a little demonstration of how to use Vimeo Live as well. Yeah, it's going to be great. And not a lot of people know very much about Vimeo Live, so this is kind of our first chance to see it, and hopefully some of you can uh, uh, let us know what you think of it. So don't forget to comment in the threads. Uh, we're on Facebook, we're on YouTube. Send us an email at live at epifan.com and let us know what you want us to talk about. So I'm, I'm monitoring the chat here, and uh, yeah, let's get, let's get going. Let's see uh, some Vimeo Live. Yeah, awesome. So first of all, let's talk a little bit about Vimeo. Are you sure. familiar with Vimeo? Have you used it at all? Well, I've always used it as a platform to post videos for different clients, usually people who want a very uh, sort of polished presentation of their video. Mm -hmm. uh, but I haven't been using it as much lately, so why do you think they're offering Vimeo Live now? Well, I think Vimeo Live is an interesting option as a live streaming platform because, um, you know, Vimeo has been around for a long time, mm -hmm. since 2004, <laughs> so it's, you know, they've, they've established themselves, they're not going anywhere. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, they've always been known for building great community around their content, mm -hmm. sort of, um, so in general, sort of like a, a higher production value on a lot of the content. Yeah, when, I, when I watch something on Vimeo, I usually expect it to, the, 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 my level of expectation is a little higher than it might be on other platforms. Right, and, no I, and I think a big part of that is that, uh, you know, Vimeo, in the early days of Vimeo, is very focused on filmmakers yeah. and, uh, mm -hmm. you know, artistic content and high quality yeah. uh, content. So there's, right there, there's a good reason to be on the Vimeo platform. It's also ad-free, I think. It is. It's an ad-free experience, unlike YouTube, yeah. which, you know, obviously... <laughs> they have an ad. It's Google, it's Google, right? So there's going to be all kinds of ads on yeah. YouTube. Vimeo is a, a more controlled environment. Um, it's, it's uh, in many ways, uh, better suited for certain types of content yes. than YouTube is. Mm -hmm. So we'll talk a little bit more about that. But I um, want to ask you guys, you know, we're in chat. Let us know. Do you use Vimeo at all? Have you uh, experimented with the platform? What are you using Vimeo for? Um, in my work in video production over many years, mm -hmm. I always found Vimeo to actually be really great for um, uh, just high quality content, um, managing. Uh, one of the things I've always liked about Vimeo is that there's password protection, there's some yeah, yeah, really yeah. great mm -hmm. embedding features as they, well. They give you more control over the play out as well. So you can, I remember being able to customize my player and like brand yeah. it to, to whatever client I was working with at the time. So really, it was a little bit slicker than YouTube at back in this day. I don't know if it still is now. Like, we'll go through that today and find out. Yeah. So um, <laughs> why don't we take a look at the live streaming platform of Vimeo. So uh, Vimeo Live just launched very recently. Um, not a lot of uh, content created out there yet. So yeah. what are the, the reasons that someone might want to go on there? Well, uh, I think that Vimeo Live is a um, really nice option if maybe you don't want to be out uh, in front of the entire world in the same way that you are on sure, YouTube. Sure, sure. So maybe you want to control who can see. Semi-private or private uh, exactly. uh, place for you. Exactly. Maybe you want to run a webinar. Maybe you want to put your content behind a paywall. Maybe you want to embed it on, a, on your own website, but you don't want anybody else to be yeah. able to embed <clears throat> it on their website. So we're going to show kind of sure. how you might do that. Yeah. And so, all of this, of course, comes with a cost. Like it's, it's different from YouTube and other platforms, and that is a monthly subscription. What is it? Hundred dollars a month or something like that. Yeah. Or? So the we'll go to it here. So Vimeo Pro Live, uh, it's one hundred dollars per month Canadian, uh, billed annually. Yeah. And that gets you free five uh, streaming hours per month. Okay. But there's some other packages with some different options as well. So yeah. I mean, you'd you'd probably want to look at this cl more closely to see what would work for you. Um, I mean, just by nature of being a paid service. Um, you would expect that there's some, um, it, I mean, it says here on the business live option, there, there's uh, live support. So you, there's someone you can call yeah, sure. who will answer the phone and help you yeah. if you have a problem, yeah. which might be nice. I mean, mm. if you're a business and you need your live streams for professional reasons and you want to make sure that um, your content is going to work and that people are going to be able to view it and you, you want to have that support, yeah, you want Vimeo, the other Vimeo has someone yeah. who will, yeah. who will, Clearly who will answer the phone. They're trying to appeal to a different crowd than, than just the typical YouTube uh, uh, live streamer. Yeah, so. oh, for sure. Mm -hmm. uh, so why don't we take a look? I'll show sure. you, show you uh, I've played around with it a bit, George, so maybe I can sort of show you the platform a little bit. So 
I'm gonna go here. This is my dashboard. And if you've used Vimeo to upload content, you're probably already familiar with what your <coughs> dashboard looks like. Right. So these are all test videos that we've uploaded in, in the past, but we're actually gonna go and create something new here. So I'm gonna click new, upload. Uh, sorry, rather, uh, oh, there we go. Actually, I can do it from here. So create live event. And now we gotta enter a title. So we're, how about we uh, live stream this show onto, onto yeah, Vimeo right now. Yeah. So we're gonna go live at Epifan. Episode 32. <laughs> Episode 32, wow, we're doing well, yeah, 32 yeah. episodes. Okay, uh, date, so you can set a date for when your stream will go live and that's gonna just put a clock up on the watch page so that counts yeah. down. Okay. Um, but the date really has no bearing on when you actually go live. As soon as you start sending your stream to Vimeo, it's gonna go live regardless of the date that you enter here. So if I... Is, that, is this like a, a, a bug? Um, you know what, I think, who knows? I'm not sure if it's a bug or not, but like if I set our stream to go live in 15 minutes, but I start it now, yes. start pushing my stream to Vimeo now, it's gonna go live now even though the countdown... Oh, I see, I see, okay. So yeah. you have to be, <clears throat> just because it does scheduling, it doesn't mean it will publish your stream then. No, you have to... It just to... promotes it at that point. Exactly. And whenever you push start, it happens. Yeah, exactly okay. right. So let's go live. I'll, I'll demonstrate it here. So we're gonna choose 3.30 but we're actually gonna go live now. Privacy, um, I'm gonna make it so that only I can see this event. I don't want all of the world but seeing this right you now. You can make it password protected or I something I could, like yeah. That. I mean, we could add a password. Um, only people who can, only people with a password could see it, but for now, you know what, why don't we just put it to anyone? Sure. We'll make it so anybody can see us. So click next. But you have to find us first. Yeah, exactly. This is some private account that, uh, <laughs> I don't think it's, we've published, publicized it. Anyway, yeah, so. right now this is pretty much just like a testing account yeah, that okay. we're using. Mm -hmm. So there you go. Uh, we've got our countdown. This event will start in 23 minutes. We can change the start time if we want. We've got the link over here on the right side. That's going to be the URL. If you want to go and watch this live stream, that's the URL you'd go to. You can enter a description. So I'm going to say live at Epifan testing. One, two, three, Vimeo. one, two, three. Live. All right, so there we go. And then down here at the bottom, you're gonna see uh, next. Yep. If you click that, it's gonna ask you to connect your encoder. Okay, so this is very similar to Facebook's. Uh, exactly, so this is how you actually pair your video encoder with the platform. Um, click connect. It's gonna generate a stream key and a URL. So we'll just give it a minute because sometimes it, it takes a second. So there we go, so RTMP URL. So I'm actually gonna copy this RTMP URL and I'm gonna put it into our Perl uh, into our Perl yeah. admin panel. So we're using Perl to live stream this show, and we're actually gonna set up a, another stream with our Perl to push to Vimeo Live. Got it, okay. Okay, so I'll go over to here to my Perl, and I'm here in my Perl admin panel. I'm gonna click New Stream. So you can see our YouTube stream going right there at, above, but I'm gonna start a new one. Okay, URL, so I'm just gonna paste the URL. We'll go back over here to Vimeo. Grab that stream key, which I will be changing after okay. the So standard the issue, RTMP push. If any of you have done streaming to <clears throat> YouTube or Facebook using uh, quite a few encoders or software encoders, you'll be familiar with this yep, basic you, stream URL and stream key. So it's yep, very straightforward. Same as OBS, same as yep. any other RTMP so push. So now all we do is push start and we're Yeah, live. so I'm going to click start on this okay. stream. Boom. Now even though I had set my stream to go live in about 20 minutes, you're going to see that it goes live before that. Oh, it's already loading up the player. Yeah, it looks so like we we're go. about to go live. We're about to go and live. Wait, we have a camera connected. Oh, it's actually the same stream as we're doing right now. Yeah, That's right. let's okay. see. We'll give it a minute here. And there, there it is. We are. Cool. And you'll see I can uh, choose my resolution. So let's set it to 1080p in the player. Yeah. We get a nice resolution. And there we go. We're live on Vimeo. How easy was that? And we got this Inception view now. Which is yeah. Oh, everybody loves that. Yeah. So, so <clears> that's <throat> pretty much how easy it is to go live on Vimeo. I mean, not too many steps there. However, there are some sort of custom features that uh, you can tap into as well. So Yeah, this is cool. We looked at this a little bit earlier. Yeah, so I might, I don't know if I can do it now that I started the stream already. No, I don't think I can. Okay. So I'm going to actually end this stream. Mm -hmm. We proved that it worked. <laughs> yeah. Um, and let's go back here and actually start something new. Yeah. So let us know if anybody, any of you are using Vimeo Live. We'd love to know why you're using it and uh, and how your experience has been so far. So. Yeah. So if I go here, new, live event, we're gonna do another one. Let's just call this test. Yep. Okay. I'm not even gonna put a date. 
So I showed you how you click next to get your encoding yeah. uh, stream key. If you go over here on the right, you're going to see some more options. And to the right, there's a little tab that says embed. Now embed is, I think, a really great, uh, there's a lot of great options in here for how and where your video can be embedded within oh, a yes, web page, yeah. right? And I think that's the way that a lot of people are going to be using Vimeo Live is to actually embed their live streams on their own website or on their partner yeah, website. Yeah, because not everybody wants to all of their customers and all the clients to go to YouTube to ingest their content. A lot of people want to own that content, uh, which is why they have companies like Wistia and all these other um, video. Yeah, that's uh, right. Companies like that 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 cater to that market. Yeah. So it's it's not un uncommon. Like if I'm a business and I'm doing a live stream promoting my products and yeah. services, I don't want someone being on YouTube necessarily no, getting advertised by my no. competitors. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. If I'm doing perhaps uh, something that has, um, you know, legal sensitivity or something that is like a paid. No, paid you can you can piece. put it in a private private location that way too. Yeah, which is great. So let's take another look here. I'll show you some of the options that you have here. So if you click embed, right here you've got your embed um, code that you would put can in, you zoom in on your well? website. Um, yeah, I can probably make this a little bigger. Does that help? Yeah, it does a little bit. It's small. Okay, so there's your embed code, your player embed. Now here you've got a bunch of uh, options for your embedded player. So, so this know, would be the same as any Vimeo Pro Pro account, I'm guessing? Yeah, this is... Which is really nice. So if you want a really beautiful player to play all your videos on your site, uh, it's very nice to be able to control what you see and what you don't see. It's nice to customize, right? So yeah. like right now, for instance, I can see this little Vimeo badge in the yeah. bottom. Maybe I don't want my my customers or my my clients seeing Vimeo. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I, want, I, don't, I want the branding to be entirely my own. So you can turn off that Vimeo logo. Cool, that's nice. Um, we could customize the color of the player as well. So, you know, right now the player has sort of these blue highlights. Um, but, you know, here at Epifan, our, our uh, color is, our brand color is a bit more on the green side. So I can go ahead and change that to a green, cool. right? Mm -hmm. um, I can also, let's say maybe I don't want people to be able to full screen the video for yeah, some yeah. reason. Mm -hmm. Maybe I have some other text and images on my page and I want them to keep the player in a, a smaller window. So I everything can, in this player, basically, we can turn off any of these little... Yeah, so I'm going to turn... Like, I can turn off the full screen button. Cool. These, like, like, share, and watch buttons that were up in the corner here, I can turn those on and off. Um, also, you can see right now my account name and the video name. Mm -hmm. Maybe I don't want people seeing that either, so I can just, like, turn all that off, right? And now we have a nice, clean player. Um, I'm going to leave the volume control, but, uh, you know, I've yeah, sort yeah. of customized mm -hmm. it to my needs. Now, there's also some other tools here that are quite interesting, um, and th those are the interaction tools. So here's the one that I really like, and you'll see it here. Before video, what do you want the interaction to be? So you can do, right here, an email capture. This is huge. Yeah. So we do a ton of lead generation here at Epifan to try to understand who our customers are, and the one piece of information we always want is we want email addresses and names of people who are visiting our site. So if you have a way to capture that data, you can talk to your customers directly about anything you need. So to be able to embed it right in a video like that, it's, it's, it's super painless too for the customer who's coming. Like all they have to do is enter their name and email. It's not a big ask. So it's a great feature for, uh, I think for so. video content. I think so. Like mm -hmm. if I was running a webinar and maybe I wanted to... Um, you know, you, well, you want to know who's there. You yeah, I want to know who's, who's, who's watching my webinar yeah. and follow up <laughs> with them later. This is a great way to do that. Mm -hmm. And what you can do here... So why don't we put a message... Um, um, welcome to the stream. Please provide your details. And then, obviously, this will give them, as soon as they come to the watch page, this is the first thing they'll see. I can choose here, using this toggle switch, whether or not you can skip the email entry. So maybe I want to make it optional. No. Right? You must. <laughs> you know, maybe you want it to be optional. Maybe you don't. Maybe you want to make it so sure. in order to see your stream, you have to enter your email. So let's uh, let's not let anyone skip the email um, entry form. Um, you can also display a custom logo. So maybe you have your brand logo and you want to sure. show it there. You can do that as well. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go ahead and add this. And there we go. We've got email capture. That's great. Um, Another little feature here in the interaction tools, after the video, you've got some options for what they see at the very end. Mm -hmm. So let's go ahead and edit that. So we can choose for them to see a thumbnail, which is just the thumbnail uh, that you select. So same. it's an image. We can, it's an image. We can just upload an image. Um, but I kind of like this one. It's called a call to action. 
So with the call to action, it's you're asking your viewers to take a step after oh, okay. they've completed watching your content. So, so you can maybe send them to a product page or a store page or a, anything you want. Yeah. <clears throat> so let's say buy now. <laughs> Description. Buy now. Buy my stuff. Mm. Okay, and then let's create a little button. So www. Buynow.com. <laughs> Let's not. Let's be careful with where buy now.com. <laughs> Who knows where that goes? Yeah. We'll just go to appfan.com. Mm -hmm. Button text. Um, so we have a question here. Are we using the pro live or business plan? Do you know what plan we have here? Um, I'm not 100% sure actually because we're on a testing account right now. Yeah, we're we're a, a partner of, of Vimeo's, and that they uh, our encoders work with their software, so they gave us an, given us a development account. So that's what we're working with right now. But yeah, I think we'll that, poke around. We'll see if we can figure it out. Yeah, we'll we'll take a look back at the options again. So yeah. there we go. So we've got now a um, a button at the end, a buy now button. Cool. So at the end of your live stream, they'll have an easy way to. To, you'll have an easy way to send your viewers wherever you want to send yeah, them. If yeah, that's yeah. another website or if that's another <laughs> piece of content, who knows, right? You can you can decide. Yeah. You can customize it. Um, you can also create just like a link as well if you don't want a button, and that just comes up as like a, a hyperlink. You can also pick a background image here. So why don't we? I think I've got one here. Um, there we go. Hey, that's nice. We got a nice picture of you. So uh, if you want to buy, let's say we want this to say. George's hat. So you can buy George's hat after the stream. You can't buy it, actually. <laughs> so there you go, it. and we'll update that. So there, it's all set to go. We've customized our embed. Um, another thing that you can do here is um, you can actually control where an embed can take place. Um, let me see if I can find where that is. I thought it was in the embed tab. Um, Maybe it's when you, see, when you share it or something like that. It must be a share tab. Yeah, I saw that before. Set, yeah. set privacy. Oh, here it is. Okay, so, well, you can password. Oh, embed privacy. This is interesting. So, with YouTube, um, your YouTube stream can be embedded quite literally anywhere if you allow embedding. Or not embedded. Correct. So you have one. Uh, you have one choice when it comes to embedding on YouTube. Yeah. You allow, allow it or disallow it. Or don't allow. <clears throat> right. So. If I want to have my own private website where people watch my stream, someone could grab my stream yeah, and, they can and, do and post it on their yeah, website. We find our videos posted all over the place because, well, because people can. So. Oh, and we want people to be sharing yeah. our content. But mm -hmm. maybe you don't want, maybe you want your content to be private, right? Yeah. So how do you do that? Well, you can control the embeds. So you can go here, where can this event be embedded? Only on sites I choose. And let's add a URL. www.mywebsite.com dot com or whatever it may be, right? Yeah. So you could add a few different cool, you know, websites here. And there you go. So now you've controlled where your video can be mm -hmm. embedded. You've customized your player. You've set up um, email capture. You've set up a call to action. So mm -hmm. lots of great features. And I'm assuming this will all carry through to the VOD. I don't know that, but when this video is over, I'm assuming all these same privacy settings and all these same customizations that we're doing will carry through to the VOD. Yeah, exactly. Um, I mean, after, well, let's take a look. We'll just go back to our videos. So this is a live stream we did last week's show, actually. We, we streamed to Vimeo. Oh, yeah, multi-streaming. So we streamed to Facebook, YouTube, and, and Vimeo for So the first let's time. take a look. I mean, we can go into the settings there. We can see, have all your tabs here. So you can okay. change your privacy settings sure, sure. the same way. You yeah. can add it to collections. You can do everything you normally can do on Vimeo in terms of customizing your video on demand. You can do after the fact with mm -hmm. your live stream as well. Yeah. So that's, that's really it. That's the Vimeo Live platform. I mean, it was pretty easy for us to get it up and running. Um, I actually found the interface maybe a little bit friendlier than some of the other platforms. Yeah, it looked pretty painless. It was um, great. So yeah. So we have someone named Martin asking if we can watch the transmissions as on the live stream page. Now, I don't know exactly what he means by that, but I know, didn't, isn't it Vimeo and live stream? There's some uh, Vimeo bot live stream, and so yeah. maybe he's referring to the live stream platform that existed before this. Yeah, I think so. To be so. able to watch all those live feeds. So I, we have, have you seen a page on Vimeo yet where they show all of their live videos? I know YouTube has a place where you can go. It's not very well publicized, but you can see all of the live feeds that are ongoing. And Facebook has a, uh, a map where they show all the current live feeds. So um, I don't know if Vimeo has such a thing yet, but you got to think they're going to want to promote this. So Yeah, you know what? There's not a lot of live streaming 
that I've been able to see. Yeah, it feels very new on like, Vimeo. Like this is still googling very this. New. It was like crickets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah. Uh, hopefully, we'll, we'll find out more in, in the next couple of weeks, and we'll of course update you during the show as well. So. I would expect to see some, you know, evolution of this platform as mm -hmm. time goes on. I mean, it's still very new. Um, Vimeo has always, in my experience, added features, added functionality. You've mm -hmm. still got also all the analytic features yeah. that you have of Vimeo um, with your live streaming content there as well. So, um, yeah, I, I, I'm looking forward to seeing how the platform continues yeah, to evolve. Yeah, and they seem to have a really loyal fan base. People who like Vimeo seem to like it a lot, so I'm guessing they'll get feedback from all those people and be able to make it great. So yeah. we'll see. Uh, let us know what you think. If you're doing any Vimeo live streams, we really want to see it because we don't see very many at all. So Yeah, and uh, by the way, if you're wondering, we're actually, you see behind us, um, we've actually, uh, <laughs> if, if you're new to the show, you might not have seen any of our older episodes where we used a chroma key green screen quite a bit. So we're actually, although it looks like we're on the roof of a building or something, yeah. <laughs> we're actually still in our regular Epifan studio. Yeah, we've, actually, we've actually put up a, our, our green screen and we are... Uh, Mm -hmm. Putting a live feed from one of our webcaster streams. Yeah, right the here. irony is we're streaming the like the view <laughs> outside this floor right behind us, so it's very uh, yeah uh, not all that creative <laughs> in that it's the, it's the windows right behind us more or less. Yeah. So, uh, but it uh, was but fun to kind of set up. We just saw it's a beautiful beautiful day out there, so why not? Uh, yeah. Yeah, change it up. Cha change the setting of our mm -hmm. studio for today. So let us know what you think about that as well. Yeah. Um, any other questions? No, well, um, <coughs> Urban Mask is also asking us, does Vimeo have a live homepage where my con content can be surfaced? So I'm guessing asking about whether Vimeo has a home base for all of this live content. Yeah. And uh, it would show up, on, I'm sure, on your channel. Like, can we go to our channel and see if it shows our live streams that we've been doing lately? Well, I mean, that's where we just were. So this is our, you know, this is but every, this is our behind the scenes. Like, this is our dashboard, page. right? If you went to the public version of our uh, um, page, yeah. you got to think that it would show up there. Yeah, so there's our there stream is, from yeah. a couple minutes ago. So if ago. you have a channel on, on Vimeo, it'll show up, your live streams will show up on your your channel. Yeah. So, yeah, um, Vimeo Live. Uh, I'm excited about it. I've been a big fan of Vimeo for a long time, so looking forward to seeing how the platform continues to evolve, and it's nice to have all of those great uh, content control features. Yeah. Um, so yeah, no, very it's, accessible. It's a nice if you're looking for a way to control who and where your content can be seen, maybe Vimeo is the right is the right option for you. Yeah. So uh, yeah, let us know what you think. Give us your comments. If yeah, you like, please. If <laughs> you like this show, if this was useful to you, please give us a like. If you didn't like it, you know what to do. Um, and we're going to be live a couple times next week. In fact, I had another idea I wanted to go live with next week. I'll okay. tell you about after the show. But we're going to be doing something on Halloween, so be sure to check out uh, Facebook. Uh, we're going to be doing some kind of fun stuff, but we'll save it. We'll let, we'll let you know the details later in the week. And we're going to even have some prizes and some giveaways. So be sure to tune in and stay uh, stay on top of us. Okay. And, uh, oh, by the way, next week's episode, we have a very interesting episode next show. Yes. Uh, we're calling it George versus George. And yeah. we're actually going to be having a little contest here in the studio between the Georges to see who can get a live stream up and running the fastest. And we're going to give them some... Uh, Mystery boxes with some live streaming equipment, <laughs> and we'll uh, we'll have a little bit of fun on the Do show. Do I get a head start because George has been doing this way longer than me, <laughs> and he's a technical wizard? I mean, and I'm from the marketing group. I mean, that would seem fair, but is that really what you want? No, I think I you I think you want to beat him. him at his own game, right? I do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, so George H, I know you're watching. Get ready for next week because George B here. It's new George. He's coming for you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Uh, thanks for watching the show. We'll see you next week. Yeah. So long. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <clears throat>